Good day, everybody. How are you doing? Today, we're going to talk about normal distribution, find the mean and the standard deviation. So I'll share my screen with you. In a certain normal distribution, 1.25% of the area lies to the left of 42 and 1.25% of the area lies to the right of the right of 48. Find mean and standard deviation. So we draw a standard, I mean, we draw a normal distribution with the peak at the center highest where the mean is located. The mean is not known. Standard deviation is not known. Uh, 42 is a number on the left of the mean to the left of 42 is 0 0.0125 area and 48 is another number located on the right of the mean. To the right of 48, the area is 0 0.0125. So the area to the left of 48 is total area under the curve is 1. 1 minus 0 0.0125 is 0 0.9875 is the area on the left of 48 under the normal curve. Now we convert this information to a standard normal curve where the mean is located, the peak is the highest Z, the standard normal variable is zero. Uh, to the left of Z1, area is 0 0.0125, 0 0.0125. And to the right of Z2, which is equivalent to 48, the area is 0 0.0125. And remember the area to the left of Z2, as we have found before is 0 0.9875. Since we know the area to the left of Z1, is 0 0.0125. We can use the in norm function in the calculator to find the value of the Z1, which is the standard normal variable corresponding to 42. So we will press the second key in the calculator, TI84, then the worst key, and then select option three, which is in norm. Area to the left of Z1 is 0 0.0125. Because it's a standard normal curve, mu is zero, sigma is one. Then we go down to best, enter and enter. And Z1 is calculated as minus 2.2414. It's negative because it's on the left of zero. Now, area to the left of Z2, as I mentioned, is 0 0.9875. We use that information and substitute it at, or plug it in in, in norm function. So second verse uh, three, which is in norm, and we go down, area is now 0 0.9875, mean is zero, standard deviation is one, and we will get Z2 as 2.2414. Now we will express Z2 in terms of X and mu and sigma. So Z2 is expressed in terms of X2, so 2.2414 equal to mean, um, sorry, X2, which is 48 minus mu, which is not known, sigma. Multiply by sigma on both sides, so we get 2.2414 sigma is equal to 48 minus mu, or we can move the mu to the left-hand side of the equation, so mu equal to 48 minus 2.2414 sigma. Now, for Z1, we know it is minus 2.2414 is equal to x1 is 42 minus mu divided by sigma. Another equation for mu is 42 plus 2.2414 sigma. Notice in equation one and two, left-hand sides are both equal, equal to mu. So we can equate the right-hand side. So 42 plus 2.2414 sigma from one is equal to 48 minus 2.14. Uh, sigma from equation two. And then we solve for sigma. So for, uh, if we move sigma to the left-hand side, 4.4228 times sigma is equal to six. Now sigma is six divided by 4.42828, uh, which is 1.338. We take this value of sigma and substitute it in equation one. So mu is equal to 42 plus 2.2414 times 1.338 and mu works out as 44.998. So we are given two numbers and the areas to the left of one number to the right of one number, okay? So we converted them to a standard normal curve and found the value of the corresponding Z values. Once we found the Z values, we ex Z is a standard normal variable. We express them in terms of the mean and the standard deviation. Now we do not know mean and standard deviation. So we wrote two equations for the mean mu 
and then equated them and solved for sigma, which is the standard deviation from which after obtaining standard deviation, we substituted it back in one of the equations for mu and solve for mu, which is the mean is 44.998. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to write me a comment. I'll reply to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another problem, another solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care and I'll see you next time.